Hello and welcome back to CGD Games. Today, we're checking out Dungeons of Sundaria. Um, it's a bit of a dungeon crawler and I do enjoy these kind of games. So I actually applied for this. It came out a couple of weeks before Christmas. So I applied for a key and a key mailer uh, very kindly sent me a key. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what it's all about. I've already had a little go of it, so we're going to create a new hero. Uh, I think we will go this time. I think we'll go for a ranger, uh, and he will be a dwarf just for the crack. Uh, and we'll make it a female dwarf. Why would you want to? Ch no, we'll make him quite a large dwarf. Is that a female dwarf? Are you sure that's a female? Anyway, okay. Um, so skin color very that doesn't seem to be oh there we go it is making some kind of a difference um let's go for that uh face we can change the face let's have a look is that making any difference so we've got two choices that isn't really making any significant difference let's go for blue eyes for a crack uh brown hair why that's uh female i don't know it looks more male to me let's go for red head uh, traits is obviously the tattoo on the face, so we'll go for that. And create hero. Right, let's do it. Oh, we've got to put a name in as well, so we'll just go nice and simple. CGD. Right, so in essence, what we've got here, um, we can highlight each of the places we want to visit. Uh, so all of these, we can go and buy different things like uh, health and equipment, stuff like that. And if we press down there, it highlights the bridge and it says Sundaria. So we'll click on that, which gives us the actual game world. Um, and then we click on each one. It says the Dreadforge, level six recommended. And so we're nowhere near that. Aldrin's, oh no, so we've gone back there. We don't want to do that. So don't click that one in futurely. The Grasslands, uh, level three recommended. Uh, the Crypts of Horrors, level one. Here we go. So we'll jump in here and uh, we'll go in there. So <laughs> as you can see, it isn't the best looking game in the world. Um, in fact, I'd go far as to say, and I know pe people use these terms all the time. Oh, it's, God, I've seen better looking PlayStation 2 games. But this is... I'd say this is very early gen PlayStation 3, sort of Xbox 360 looking. That's what we're looking at. I'm, I'm not entirely sure of the, the history of the developers, how many uh, people are in the team. Uh, how do we... Oh, blimey. Oh, there we go. We, we killed him. Oh, you son of a nutcracker. So I do enjoy this sort of stuff, but I'm, I'm kind of used to better looking games, so we can loot the dead as well. We've got a trinket off them, and uh, we've got a trinket off them as well. So as you can see at the bottom, uh, we've got a list of controls as well. We've got RT, LT, RB, X and Y, all different sort of types of things we can use. So let's try LT on this dude, which gives him like a, a poison. Can we... Oh, can we pick up any of his weapons? No. So it looks like we're kind of stuck with the bow and arrow, and we're going to have to uh, upgrade that bow and arrow at some point or other. So let's open this up. So this is what I'm saying. It's a kind of a dungeon crawler. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously, the, uh, the enemies uh, are repeated. Uh, the sound isn't great. I mean, the sound of the weapons are, are all right, but obviously they, they've reused different, you know, I forget the word that I'm trying to think of now, as I always do when I create these videos. Like I said, I, I gave it a go and I spent about 20 minutes with it and I, I received, when I received the game about a week ago and it just wasn't for me and I've put off creating content for it. Uh, the key mailer had emailed me and said, why haven't you created a video yet? 
were, were weighty. Ah! So I thought, you know what? I'd better do it. I'd better put it on the channel uh, to show that, you know, to stick to my end of the bargain. Um, I mean, I don't know who this is sort of aimed at, if I'm, if I'm completely honest, because... I'm no hardcore game, I'm very casual. Now that door's locked. But even for someone casual like me, I just can't see myself sitting and playing through this. It's And I know it's not all about the graphics. You know, we, we, we say that an awful lot here on the channel. You know, it's all about the gameplay. But the environments are repeated, the enemies are repeated, and it gets very stale, very boring, very quickly. Now let's try this door here. We'll, we'll give it a go though and we'll see how far we can get. Whoa, 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 he's gonna... Hey, up, he just got a bit big, did he? That's what she said. There we are. Knocked him down with a bit of poison though. Let's try... Oh, that's health there. So X is health. What does Y do? Ooh! I don't know what that does. I don't know what that is. Not, I haven't got a jump on. I don't know that much. Uh, run around these dudes like this, avoiding them. And we've killed that one. He's just took some health potion. There we go. Doesn't sound too clever, does it? Um, can we, like, loot any of these barrels or shoot them and... Oh, they do actually bust open. We'll take that. We've got ropes and a... Robes and a belt there. Radiant Great Hammer of... See, I don't even know what half of this stuff does. I suppose we could go back to the, these, the town, though, and sell some of this stuff. And then we can buy better weapons. There we go, that's in dealt with. Shoot these barrels, see if there's anything in them. No, nothing in that one. Can we open these chests? No. We'll just go around smashing these barrels open. We'll take that one. Beautifully done. We'll loot her as well. Oh, we've got a switch here. We'll use that. That's done something somewhere. Where that somewhere is and what it's done, I don't know. But we've also got a map on the top right hand side there. Some kind of mini map. I've just discovered roll by clicking the left stick. Ah, right stick is jump. Click the right stick and that jumps. There we go. Every day is a school day. Here on CGD Games. And we also have a mooch down here. It looks like that um, that lever unlocked that door. We've got a dude with his the hunt is on with his wolf here. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, that's the dog belt with. So uh, we're just going to deal with this dude here. Fire some poison at him. Like that. Oh, and CG does die. the pack. Right, so let's let's respawn. Now he's rallied the pack. He's uh, respawned his wolf as well. He killed me with poison. Well, let's have another crack. I've just seen that RB button there, so I'm going to try using that against this dude. Ooh, that's a nice little bit of weaponry, isn't it? We've got to wait for that to recharge, though. We can't keep using it. That's his wolf dealt with. Right, what's health again? X, that's it. Let's, uh... Yeah. That, uh... Was a bit delayed. Right, got another wolf somewhere. I just heard a wolf growling. I don't know where it is, but I definitely heard... Oh, there he is. Wolf master. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. We're under a bit of pressure here, aren't we? There we go. Take a health potion. But with health potions, you've, you've got unlimited, but you have to wait for them to regenerate. You can't just keep using them, so you've got to, like, dodge and weave and avoid uh, further damage. So he's got nothing on him. Can we take that? That would be handy. And we'll loot that. 
as well. We've got a chest here we can open. So we've got a hunter's chest guard, dark moon leather fragment. Uh, what else will we get? Candy canes by two, because they're still, for some reason, got the Christmas uh, sort of event on. So if we press start, no, select, we do have like um, an inventory page. But I've got a shield. How do I equip that? Have I equipped that? I don't know, guys. Oh, uh, well, there we go. Yeah, I've equipped it. So what else can we equip? Let's have a look at this chest guard. Can we pop that on him? Can we pop the chest guard on him there? What's that done? Is that the chest guard I collected? I don't think it is. That's robes. And we'll uh, see if we can swap that back. Hunter's chest guard. There we go. Spell power, 63. Armor. 23. That's not very good, is it? Right, we'll keep this on it for now, anyway. Doesn't look very happy, my character, does it? What's this we've got up here? A level 1 two-handed hammer. Hammer. Can we put that uh, in the other hand rather than the bow? Go over there. Well, there we go. But it's one or the other, isn't it? I'll, uh, I think I'll stick with the bow, because we're having some success with that, aren't we? There we go. Right, let's crack on. Obviously, you know, it's one of them. You, you run, keep running through the dungeons. Ooh, you son of a nutcracker. There we go. So, now, I was pressing LT there to shoot poison at him, and nothing happened. completely honest guys my, 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 I mean I could have told you my opinion from the start with this one but it's not for me and I do love my adventure games um, I love a dungeon crawler I love going around looting collecting stuff and uh, advancing my character in a you know a, an RPG type way but it just it looks ugly the controls aren't very responsive at all. The, I mean, the could having jump there on a on the right stick is an odd choice uh, for me. It is. Let's just loot these here. We did get something. We got strong love of the beast, abating great staff of the beast. You see, I'd st if I was playing and not showing you guys, I mean, we I suppose we can dive in quick quickly. Now, what have we got here? Some boots. Can we stick these boots on? There we go. So I think we've got some better boots. What else did we get? We got some gloves, didn't we? Strong glove of the beast. So let's put those on as well. So there we are. We've got some... Uh, some better gear now. But we're not going to use that staff. Uh, we seem to be doing quite well. Ooh, dear, oh dear! Oh, your secrets I must know. This doesn't look like a friendly area, does it? Die! I don't think they want me to live. Let's uh, get some health down. Death secrets. Oh, oh no! The Inquisitor My. is dead. Let's uh, deal with this dude. Uh, and that's that dude dead as well. Uh, let's see what the thing could... You see, these bosses never have anything on them. So we have to go to a chest. We've got some precise leg guards of agony there. Um, dark moon bow fragment. Uh, candy canes by two and rare essence. Uh, is there a door we can go through? Yeah, let's uh, mooch through here. We've got full health again. So once again, if we go back into this menu... Um, precise leg guards of agony. So let's pop them on. They're bound to be better than what we've got already. There we go. So we've got them on now. Let's open this door. Oh dear, this doesn't look too good, does it? Another boss area. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Four subjects for our lord. Let us see if they are worthy. Right, let's take this dude out. I'll just keep circling him, shooting him. Like so. 
dead again I think <laughs> God no this I, I can't play anymore I, I said I'd do it and I've done it so that's it I'm done I, I can't do anymore it's painful do I recommend it no for me for you know I'm a 46 year old man it's not for me <sighs> I, I don't know who I'd recommend this to I really don't but it's just not for me unfortunately it's not something I'm going to sit and play. It will be deleted off my hard drive. I'm sorry to the developers. I'm sure they put poured a lot, a lot of love, blood and sweat into this game. Um, but once again, I've said it before, we're, we're on the Xbox Series X and S now and the PlayStation 5. And if this is the kind of quality, I've got all the love in the world for independent developers. But this is just, it's just not for me. I'm sorry. But, yeah... It's one of those, I suppose. You, they can't all be good, can they? Well, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, uh, please hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, possibly consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.